You already know your body is awesome, but how much do you actually know about it? For example, did you know that humans are the only animals with chins? My mind exploded a little just thinking about that one. It's time to stop taking yourself for granted. Keep watching on to discover 10 little known but totally awesome facts about your body. Fact number one, your body spontaneously changes from walking to running at a certain speed. Have you ever noticed that as you walk faster, at some point you have an almost undeniable urge to start jogging? This is not a conscious choice on your part. There's plenty of research out there demonstrating that based on your stride length and stride frequency, your gait will suddenly change from walking to running at a certain speed. Your body's goal is to sustain a stable state, either walking or running. So if you're hovering around that critical speed, your body will force you into a jog. One explanation for this is that at some point, your body uses less energy by running than it does by walking faster. And your body is always looking for ways to save energy. Fact number two, you burn calories while you're sleeping. That's right, on average, you burn around 50 calories per hour while sleeping. You may have heard of your basal metabolic rate, the number of calories your body burns at rest. But have you heard of your sleeping metabolic rate? When you're sleeping normally, your SMR is about 15% lower than your BMR, and it keeps decreasing as the night goes on. It reaches its lowest level in the morning, right before you wake up. Research has shown that African Americans appear to have a lower sleeping metabolic rate than Caucasians, and that this might contribute to increased weight gain. Additionally, SMR decreases faster throughout the night in individuals who are obese. Fact number three, can muscle soreness spread to muscles you didn't train? Has soreness ever hit you two days after a tough workout? That's delayed onset muscle soreness. Even if you didn't know its name, you've likely experienced it at some point in your life. The weirdest thing about DOMS is not that it takes so long to show up. It's that sometimes you also feel sore in muscles that you didn't specifically target. What gives? If you ever get the feeling that your soreness has spread, you're probably not imagining it. Researchers say that a neurological mechanism could cause you to feel sore in nearby muscles, even if you weren't intending to work them. Here's another fun fact about DOMS. Many people believe it is caused by a buildup of lactic acid in your muscles. That's not true. Although there are several different theories for what actually causes DOMS. One of the theories is that intense workouts cause the collagen in your connective tissue to break down, thus leading to a change in the metabolism of that tissue. Another is that exercise damages the sarcolemma, which is the sheath surrounding muscle fibers, and as the body tries to heal it, substances like histamine, quinine, and potassium accumulate in the area. These chemicals can trigger your pain receptors, making you feel sore. Fact number four, beginning at age 40, you lose 1% of your strength every year. If age-related strength loss was linear, that means you'd lose 40% of your strength by the time you were 80. But researchers have shown that the rate of strength loss accelerates with each decade, so you end up losing more than that. However, being active throughout your life slows this process down considerably. You can still improve your muscle strength and mass through strength training, even into your 90s, which means it's never too late to pick up a set of dumbbells. Fact number five, there's no difference between total body workouts and workouts divided by muscle group. What does your workout program look like? Do you follow a traditional bodybuilding split, training chest and triceps on Monday, legs on Wednesday and back and biceps on Friday? Or do you prefer total body workouts, hitting each muscle group each day? As long as you get the same amount of volume, it doesn't matter how you break it up. A study from 2016 shows that both training styles resulted in a 2% improvement in lean body mass over the course of eight weeks. But let's be honest, the split up can be necessary for recovery reasons. Fact number six, when you run, the pressure on your feet is equal to about 267% of your body weight. The amount of vertical force created when you walk is about 1.1 to 1.5 times your body weight. But when speed increases to about nine miles per hour or four meter per second, that force increases to between 2.51 to 2.83 times your body weight. In children, ground reaction forces, GRF, which is the force produced by a falling weight-bearing body, have been shown to reach 3.5 times their body weight when jumping. Fact number seven, you'd have to stand for more than two hours to burn as much energy as 30 minutes of walking. 
Likewise, you'd have to stand for nearly six hours to burn the same amount of energy as you would by running for 30 minutes. The American College of Sports Medicine, ACSM, suggests that whenever possible, you should stand rather than sit. While it is indeed better for you to avoid sitting in your chair all day, research shows that too much standing is not beneficial either. The amount of load you place on your knee joint is four times greater when standing compared to walking, and seven times greater than when you're running. Fact number eight, your eye is your fastest muscle. The fastest moving muscle in the human body is the orbicularis oculi, which controls the closing action of the eyelids. It is capable of contracting in less than one slash one hundredth of a second. A blink typically lasts 100, 150 milliseconds, which is why we say when something happens quickly, it happens in the blink of an eye. Interestingly, individuals tend to blink more frequently during conversation and less while reading, contributing to the sensation of fatigue associated with prolonged reading sessions. Fact number nine, your body contains trillions of bacteria. We have trillions of bacteria living in our bodies and helping regulate inflammation and disease. Bacteria play crucial roles in the body, supporting digestion, synthesizing essential vitamins, and shaping the immune system positively. The diverse gut microbiota contributes to overall health and skin bacteria defend against pathogens. However, imbalances may lead to inflammation and influence mental well-being through the gut-brain axis, underscoring the delicate balance these microorganisms maintain for optimal health. Fact number 10, masseter muscle is the strongest muscle in your body. What is the strongest muscle in the body? This is not a straightforward one to answer because it depends on the size and more. But based on weight or size, the strongest is considered to be the masseter muscle, which is the main biting muscle. The average force of biting down has been found to exert 90 kilograms on the molars. But the world record according to Guinness World Records was measured at 442 kilograms in 1986. It is important to note that the masseter isn't the only muscle working to bite down, but it is the main one contributing to impressive strength nonetheless. That's all for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to OptiHealth for more captivating health-related content. As always, thanks for joining us on this journey. And until next time, stay cool, stay healthy, and stay curious.